This past summer, we worked with Donjoy using their braces, a knee brace that is supposed to prevent a ACL tear. The anterior cruciate is one of the most commonly injured ligaments. We had subjects do a run, stop, jump test in which they would be putting stress on this ligament. We use the eight camera Vicon system that tracks um, reflective markers that we put on all over the subject and then we use um, the system and analyzing the data to see the angles of knee movement. By working in a lab and carrying out the research, I'm able to see what limitations are actually involved in what we're learning and the practical applications of it. And that's the most important part once we're done with school to move on and be able to know what goes into a study. We are definitely fortunate here to have the 8 camera Vicon system. It is a very expensive piece of equipment. So most students in an undergraduate facility will get to do lab work, of course, but not to this extent where we can analyze data with such a advanced technology. I would say most students don't get this kind of hands-on experience. Here in Professor Reed's lab, we're working with a uh, small marine phytoplankton called EHUX. We're extracting RNA from four different conditions to check for biomineralization. This research can be used in the future on two bases. Like one can be um, for optoelectronics because its shells pretty much reflect light. So um, researchers are looking into its light reflecting capabilities for telecommunications. And another possible finding can be using it for biomedical devices. As an undergraduate, it gives you a lot of um, advantage over many other students because a lot of students don't really even start research until they graduate. To have this experience already as an undergrad, it gives me a good advantage. It, it helps me in terms of research before even getting into grad school. I've been learning that it's very interesting. You always learn something new every time you come into lab.